After several years of research, in 2012 we started at the ICOS Barcelona Clinic. Clinical Trials of Cosmetic Laser Iridoplasty Then, I am going to present all the scientific keys to understand cosmetic laser iridoplasty. Its bases Security Effectiveness Predictability And level of satisfaction We knew that Since more than 30 years, many ophthalmic lasers produced iris depigmentation and we were guided by the acute model of a hyphema and laser trabeculoplasty, with the advantage that the patients are young and healthy. We apply strict selection criteria, and we use very useful predictive tests. Furthermore, in case of ocular hypertension, we perform fast and effective treatments. In fact, after 10 years of experience, no patient lost vision, nor does he have chronic glaucoma. It is an acute process of ocular overload, such as hyphema or SLT. But according to the classification, it's a microhyphema. As we can see in this series of photos, previous, and after two and three days of laser. If we want to predict the risk of acute or chronic glaucoma, we can perform a genetic test. Here we see several real examples with one, two, and three affected genes. But without any doubt, the most practical way is to perform an ocular physiodynamic checkup. Although we already know that patients should have an hydraulic system in very good condition for being very young. The ocular physiodynamic checkup consists in measuring basal pressure, the production of aqueous humor, which is constant, anterior chamber volume with OCT, the density of the aqueous humor, flare meter, the output resistance, C, with overload test, and venous pressure, which is fixed. We use a reliable air tonometer and anterior segment OCT. Viscosity measurement with digital flare meter. There is no longer any available with laser or lead light. Gonioscopy with four mirror lenses or high magnification for SLT. The automatic gonioscope from Nidec SG1 is quite difficult to use routinely. Although it gives a 360 degree image, we see four classic examples of secondary hyperpigmentation of the angle. In chronic processes, such as pseudoexfoliation syndrome, pigmentary glaucoma, chronic uveitis, and trauma or surgery. In all of them, the distribution is 360 degrees. But the typical pattern after laser iridoplasty, which is an acute process, it is highly pigmented, only in the lower 70 degrees, with normal pigmentation, in the upper 290 degrees. The only pneumatic tonograph available yet. It's the Reichert M30 but it is quite aggressive due to prolonged corneal contact and the need for three pressure measurements, one sitting and two lying down. As the classic overload test, we have ibopamine, which increases the production of aqueous humor, but we preferred to design a new tonographic test with the use of the Honan ball. It consists of measuring the pressure in both eyes with air tonometer, Apply the ball to the right eye, two minutes at 40 millimeters of mercury, and remeasure the pressure in both eyes. As an index, the drop percentage of the right eye is calculated. We have already demonstrated the reliability of this technique. And because of that, we have studied their mean values in the different phases of laser treatment and pigmentation levels. As we hold sessions, slightly decreases the drop rate, but it remains above 10%. Instead, we have not observed differences between the levels of pigmentation. Finally, after completing the check, we enter the data in the analyzer software, which will calculate the three fundamental parameters. The maximum expected pressure, 
trabecular blocking factor, TBF, and the clearance curve, C-C. If despite the check, hypertension appears, or a trabecular blockage, the solution is quick, closing production, and dehydrating the aqueous humor, which causes a sudden vacuum effect that unlocks the way out. Long term, we have a physiological ally, the homeostasis. Trabecular and endothelial cells carry out daily cleaning of foreign bodies from the trabecular meshwork by cellular phagocytosis. In the worst case scenario, with chronic hypertension, the solution is very simple. A laser trabeculoplasty with the same laser we use for iridoplasty. Dr. Juan Sampalisi, a patient of family glaucoma, chose SLT as the choice treatment for himself. After confirming the diagnosis with an ibopamine test, the SLT, it simply reopens the trabeculum by destroying the pigmentary or cellular remains. In fact, we have already demonstrated and published a large series of patients with long evolution, up to 10 years, where neither vision nor hypertension appeared. Satisfaction is progressively improving as the phases progress, and the cosmetic outcome is therefore more noticeable. Regarding the effectiveness, the melanin that determines the color of the eyes, it is located in the most superficial layer of the iris and can be destroyed with specific green laser. At low doses, the melanocytes become necrotic and the production of melanin stops forever. So the effect is permanent. This previous layer is not necessary for protection against UV rays. But the posterior dense layer, which is always thick and opaque in light and dark eyes. Again, ocular homeostasis will eliminate cell debris by phagocytosis, until collagen and elastin fibers of the stroma are discovered. The blue color usually obtained is not real but an optical effect called Rayleigh, caused by scattering predominantly blue rays of light in the aqueous humor. After reflecting off the stroma of the iris, there are three types of melanin. Eumelanin, dark brown. Pheomelanin, light brown and lipochrome, yellow ochre, and its expression is determined by genetic factors. The law of the two eye color genes, green and blue. We have also developed prediction tests, phenotypic and genetic. Although the lasers we use today produce easily predictable colors, light eyes go to blue tones and dark to grayish. The law of the two genes of eye color is that the dominant gene is brown followed by green, and totally recessive blue. So the combination of these genes determines the resulting eye color. Although the population of melanocytes is constant, it is the density of the melanosomes that determines whether the color of the iris is brown, green, or blue. The three applications that we have created serve to take high-quality photos of both eyes, eye selfie, to predict the color result, predictor, and to make a 3D simulation, Simulator 3D, checking the influence of light and distance. For patients who do not know their history, genetic testing can be very helpful, which uses probes to locate the color genes. Patients are happy because iridoplasty is safe, effective, and predictable. The effect is permanent, and the laser is painless and fast, less than one minute does not cause sensitivity to light, no glaucoma, nor blindness. The technique allows full eye examination and is compatible with refractive surgery or any other. The appearance is always natural because the depigmentation is complete from the pupil to the corneal limbus. After treatment, the shape of the pupil is round, of normal size and with good mobility. Its limitations are just two dark eyes and ambient light. Instead, other eye color change techniques can cause blindness, such as cosmetic intraocular lenses, 
due to persistent and refractory glaucoma and uveitis. Unfortunately, badly performed laser iridoplasty can also cause serious side effects, like glaucoma, pigment dispersion, iris atrophy, Earth Sibelius syndrome, pupillary deformation, and R-active midriasis. Here we can see two scientific articles about pigment dispersion syndrome and refractory glaucoma after poorly performed laser iridoplasty. On the left we see four examples of results obtained in ICOS Barcelona and top right two cases of excessive laser treatment with pupillary deformations and down, a corneal tattoo and a cosmetic intraocular lens. In the left column, several cases of ICOS Barcelona. In between, examples of poorly practiced iridoplasty with iris atrophy and unreactive pupils. And to the right, corneal tattoo cases with iatrogenic misalignments without solution. Apart from the artificial result, the tattoo generates corneal aberrations, limits the field of vision, and prevents exploration of the retina and refractive or cataract surgeries. It is evident that laser iridoplasty is the technique of choice in changing the color of the eyes for security, effectiveness, and predictability, and for achieving always natural color results. Thank you very much for your kind attention.